A lot of these motivational people, online especially, will tell you that when you get sober, when you achieve sobriety, life is a, a bed of roses and all is good in the world. But we all know that's bullshit. And this shit is really hard. I'm going to share with you in this video some of the things I do to get over those humps when times are difficult and times are hard. And to remind you again that just because you are struggling at the moment doesn't mean that you're failing. But let's just pause and reflect for a moment about what we've all been through over the past three years. Because perhaps we haven't thought about it enough and given ourselves a break really. For two years we lived in fear, locked up in our homes, basic freedoms taken away not able to socialise or talk to the, or be near the people we love. Some of us suffered, suffered unimaginable trauma, grief, loss, the loss of people we loved. I know I did. You know, we lost someone who was younger than me and our family. You know, just think of the, the mental health issues that were created by those two years that haven't been processed yet, that we're all still living with. Because... When we came out of that two years of, uh, of trauma, we raced to catch up with life again at 100 miles an hour. All of us did. We were free to be let out of our homes and all the rest of it and to see our friends and the people we loved again. And then we were hit with another crisis, the cost of living where we're all struggling, me included, where people I know who've worked all their lives can't afford to put the heating on or feed their children. And the unimaginable stress and pain of that and fear around that. While you're still processing the previous two years. So we really have to reflect on that and pause for a moment because the mental health crisis in this world at the moment it's going to go on for generations. It's going to be passed down from the parents to the children now and their children's children probably. Because that's what happens with mental health and anxiety and all the rest of it. So, you know, on top of all that, if you've recently got sober or you're, and you're struggling to stay sober, it doesn't really matter how much sobriety you've got. Times are bloody hard at the moment. And, you know, I think we have to take a breath and step back and give ourselves a, a bit of care. And there's a few things that I, I would suggest that you do now that won't cost you a, a fortune. Because I know every penny counts at the moment, and it does for me. You know, I'm fortunate to live in, in a warmer country, perhaps in the UK. I know at the moment it's in the minus in the UK at the moment. And people just can't afford to put um, money on their electricity or pay any bills or are frightened to put it on. So these things you can do, perhaps, you know, just to get yourself over this hump. First of all, just give yourselves a break from um, the media for a second. Because online media now, it wasn't like the newspapers of old, although they were bad enough. But online media now and social media is clickbait. The more bad news, this good news doesn't get enough clicks for them. The more bad news that they can spread or doom and gloom and fear they can spread, the more they will do. Just look at the way they reported the, the pandemic and all of that and the war and the cost of living. You know, it's doom, gloom, fear. And that won't do any good for your anxiety levels. Neither will scrolling through social media. Because, as I said in my last video, most of that is just bullshit anyway. And um, they're just people, everyone's struggling out there. It doesn't matter whether their lives look great online. Everybody's struggling, trust me. Because I meet lots of people who you would think, you know, and look good on these pictures and all the rest of it. But they're going through the same shit as we all are. So give yourself a break from it. Stop looking at the news for a bit. And stop scrolling through social media for a bit. Even if it's just for a week, you'll feel better for doing it. And your anxiety levels will decrease when you do it. I tr trust me. And I know that sounds a bit stupid when I'm giving you an online video here. 
But I try only to use this for positivity wherever I can. Probably why I don't get many, uh, <laughs> many clicks on it. But anyway, the next thing is to talk to like-minded people, a support group, all your friends, all your family. You, I mean, last week I was really struggling. You know, I have a lot of anxiety and, and, and mental health stuff that goes on in my life. <clears throat> Plus the fact, and I wouldn't swap my sobriety for the world. It's the greatest thing that I've got. It's brought so much good stuff back into my life. But, I, you know, and I wouldn't swap that for the world. But we, we struggle. It's bloody hard. So talking to a group of like-minded people, for me, it's AA. That may be not everyone's cup of tea, you know, but there's many other support groups online, like-minded people who are going through the same struggles or your friends or your family who are going through the same struggles or speak to your doctor, anybody, because when you do, you'll feel the anxiety and the pressure lift a bit because you've shared the problem instead of bottling it up all inside, waiting for it to explode and something bad to happen. You've got it at the end of the day. The other couple of things, obviously, around your diet and your exercise, move your body every day if you can. It's free of charge. You don't have to join a fancy gym to move your body. You can do some calisthenics on, on the floor of your home, or you can go for a nice long walk around the, the block. As long as you're increasing your heart rate a bit and moving your body, you'll make yourself feel better and it'll relieve some of that anxiety and stress. It's basic stuff. It doesn't cost. You don't have to go to a fancy gym to do it. You, can, you know, it's free and the fresh air is free at the moment before someone charges for it, obviously. And finally, you know, diet. <clears throat> I know it's really difficult to spend money on healthy food at the moment because it just costs so much. So like all of this, you've just got to do your best. You can only ever do your best in life. So you do your best to eat as, eat as healthily as you can. I, I try and just eat as healthy. I cut out all, this, all the junk, all the crap, you know, the sugary stuff, the processed stuff, wherever I can. Because it's dearer anyway in the long run. Try and buy fresh food. Try and keep your diet as balanced as possible. Drink plenty of water from the tap. You know, just do all the things that you know are good. And breathe and do some meditation and all these things free of charge. Um just to give yourself a bit of a, a break. But most of all, please, if you are struggling now, reach out and talk to somebody first of all. Do these other things. And um, just simply do your best and give yourself a break. Take some time to yourself. Practice some self-care. Um, have a hot bath. Uh, if you can afford a hot bath, that is. I'm sorry to be trite there, but some people can't. But, you know, just... Try and take some time out and relax. And I know it's difficult if you've got young children, you're working and all this shit's coming on top of you. But if you don't practice this self-care and if you don't look after yourself, you can't look after anyone around you. Your children are going to suffer. Your sobriety is going to suffer. And eventually you're going to crumble. And um, that's not good, is it, for anybody? So just do the best you can. Give yourself a break. If that's been useful for you, please click the link in the description to Kofi and donate a coffee to the channel. Um, it'll just help me take the channel a bit further and, and make it better, hopefully. And um, please subscribe, like and share the videos. Thank you for listening. Good luck. Stay strong, my friends. Practice self-care and look after yourselves and just do your best. Much love. Carpe diem. Seize the day.